What's up, freaks? Welcome to Steve Says, episode number 117. Holy shit, 117 episodes. Today, we are talking about the R word. That is respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, motherfucking respect, is what we're talking about. We're going to talk about 20 ways on how to earn it and how to keep it. Of course, there's many other ways. These are just really things that are flowing off the top of my head. It's based off a post I did recently that I just wanted to really do a deeper dive into. And here on Steve Says, you know this is not always what you want to hear, but this is the shit that you need to hear. Some people will hate, but most can relate. This is a show where we are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. As Steve says, is a live show on how to have a badass, no excuses mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your health, your family, and your finances. So you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms. We're focusing on the mind, the body, and the business. This is all about personal development on Steve Says, how to have a role model mindset, how to operate to dominate with discipline, energy, confidence, being an action taker, a risk taker, and a bold move maker as your freak self. That's what we're talking about. And today we're talking about respect. Respect. Motherfucking respect. Now, not just on respecting other people. Of course, you re, you res, respect others and you demand respect back. And, and this goes to, according to the, a lot, a lot of this has to do with the project. If you know, here's a project creed, as you can see on there, which on the back has the 10 points of the creed, which one of them is I, I show respect to my fellow man, demand respect back and grovel to no one. That's part of it. Now, how do you show respect? How do you earn respect? How do you keep respect? And let me tell you, dealing with the project and signing men up for the project, literally now hundreds of, putting hundreds of men through the project already and speaking to hundreds more that just didn't have what it takes or or, or bullshitted or were just being bitches and, and chickening out or backing out or finding fucking excuses why they couldn't do the project when they know damn well they needed to. You know what it came down to? It came down to motherfucking respect. It came down to it comes down to a lack of respect. When I'm talking to them and they're telling me what their life is like and what their relationships are like and what their the way that they're, they're they they talk to their wife, the way their wife looks at them and the things they tell me and I could just hear in the tone of their fucking voice, you know what? That their fucking family, their friends, their coworkers don't fucking respect them. That's what it comes down to. These are struggling men every day that I'm talking to, they're fucking stuck, they're in a rut, they don't know where to go from here, they don't know what's going on. And their issue always come back to motherfucking respect. It always comes back to the important people around them having a lack of respect for them. And you know what? It's their own fucking doing. Will Jones, what's up? Respect. Yes, sir. We need to get together. We need to get together soon. I'm going to reach out to you right after this show. So how to earn respect, how to keep respect. And and these are not in any particular order. They're not ranked in any way. You could flip-flop them. They're they're all equally fucking important for the most part. And and, and the first thing that I'm going to talk about is your family, your friends, your fucking kids, your team, your coworkers, your employees, your boss, whatever it is up or down the fucking chain of command in your company, in your job, your career, whatever you're in, your family, they're going to respect you if you are always striving to get better, you're not always, you're never getting complacent. You're always striving to get better. You're always moving forward towards a goal. And not just towards some half-assed, money-related, number-related goal. Sure, that's great. Sure, that's something you should do and, and have. But we're talking about a goal, something bigger, something better, something with a, a, a fucking higher calling than just yourself. And to see you always trying to get better, to see you looking to improve every day, that fucking hunger, that fire that's under your ass every single day is going to get you the respect of the people around you. Always striving for that freaking improvement. That's the first one. The next thing is, on that journey of get gaining and earning respect and going towards your goals and going towards a higher calling, is not fucking anyone over on the way of that journey. That's how you get respect. To be a hungry dedicated, focused, driven motherfucker without screwing anyone out over along the way, without burning any fucking bridges, without doing any grimy slimeball, sleazebag, scumbag, douchebag shit. 
not fucking anyone over on the way to your journey, to improvement, to reach your goals, to making money, to doing whatever the hell it is that is fulfillment to you on that higher calling in your freaking journey. The next thing is on that journey to the higher calling that you're not fucking anyone over on the way. Not only are you not going to fuck anyone over on the way of their journey is the next way to earn respect is to take people along for the ride on that journey. Lift people up with you. Be the uplifter of people around you. Be that one. Be the fucking one. I said all the time, be the fucking one. Be the fucking, and, and, and if you follow these steps, you will be the one, the one. You'll be the one that's respected. You'll be the one that stays calm and cool under pressure. That's what's respected. When everyone else is freaking the fuck out and you're controlled and focused and, and making sound fucking decisions, that's who's pe- who people are going to respect. And then taking people along for the ride on that journey at, while you're not fucking anyone else over and then helping as many people along the way on that same journey. So you're taking some along the ride with you, helping others along the way in their own separate journeys. So you have people on your same journey with you, you're bringing along for the ride, developing with you as you're raising up, and then also helping other people all over the place along the way. That's how you get fucking respect. That's what respect is. The next thing is part of the project. I'm going to pull that out again. It's, it's the first line of the project. It says, I'm a man of my word. I make a promise and I keep it. Being a fucking man of your word is how you get respect. Being known for being a man of your word. Like if you say it, it gets fucking done. No flip-flopping, no bullshit. Stop fucking talking and just do it. Get it done. Fuck, try, do. What do you think about that for a, a Nike slogan? I, I actually approached Nike to see if they wanted to make a t-shirt like that. And they told me to go fuck myself. Well, they didn't tell me. They told me to go fuck myself by ignoring me and not responding to me. So I'm going to make my own t-shirt that says it. And it literally says, fuck, try, do. And I have another one that says, fuck, luck. Fuck, try, and do. Be a man of your word. Don't just say you're going to do shit. Don't flip-flop. Get shit done. Make shit happen. Be a man of your word and back it the fuck up. Back up your flapping of your gums with your actual actions that you're taking. Be a man of your word. The next thing is, and this goes along with taking people along for the ride, is taking care of your people, putting your people around you above yourself. Now, of course, on the the first base level, we're talking about the people around you being your family, taking those people along, uh, along for the ride with you, but taking care of those people, putting them above yourself, but also your team, also the people around you, also the stranger, also the person hurt in the middle of the road. Put them above yourself. Be the protector, be the provider. And give them your most important assets and it's not your fucking money. Your most important assets are your time and your fucking energy. Nothing more than that. Those are are, are, are a billion times worth more than a dollar. A million times more than a dollar. It'll take a minute over a dollar any fucking day. Hell yeah. Take care of your people. Give them your time and your energy. Because that's what they fucking want from you. That's your kids want from you. Your time and your energy. They don't want your money. They don't want your bullshit. They don't want you sitting on a couch for five hours. They'd rather you sitting there wrestling and fighting and going in the backyard and playing football for 10 minutes rather than sit on the couch like a lazy fat fuck for five hours. Take care of your damn people. Be the protector and the provider. The savage servant, as we say in the project. The next thing is, don't waste people's fucking time. Just like time is your time and energy, don't waste other people's time or fucking energy. Or waste your own time and energy. That's how you gain respect. Who's going to respect someone that's just constantly wasting their time, constantly draining their fucking energy? You're not going to respect someone like that. Don't waste people's time or energy or your own time or energy. Next one is demonstrate courage. In the Marine Corps, just saw a Marine Corps brother right there commenting. In the Marine Corps, our core values were honor, courage, and commitment. Demonstrate fucking courage. Don't be a little bitch. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for others around you. And I'm going to go back to the Project Creed again. I protect those who can't protect themselves. Another line in the Project Creed. Demonstrate fucking courage by standing up for other people. Standing up for yourself. Standing up for what you believe in, even if it's not the popular vote. Even if it's not the popular decision. And even if no one else is along along with you in, in that room or that situation or whatever it is, if that's what you fucking believe in, stand behind it. Stand up for it. Stand up for what you think is right. Always, of course, with good morals and ethics and values, always trying to do the right thing and always trying to make the right decision. Demonstrate fucking courage. 
The next thing you need to demonstrate, demonstrate strength and discipline. I'm putting those two together, strength and discipline together. And we're talking about physical strength and discipline and mental strength and discipline. I'm putting all that together because to me, that's all combined. Take care of yourself. Lose the fucking gut. Lose the man tits. Get into fucking fighting shape again. Get into physical fighting shape, but also get back into mental fighting shape. The mindset you need to have to be that fucking fighter, to be that warrior. Demonstrate that strength and discipline. The next way to gain, earn, and keep respect is to not be approval seeking. Don't be approval seeking. But also don't fucking be a show off. Don't be a brag. That's what, that's what to me, that's approval seeking also. Or putting other people down is approval seeking. You're looking to validate something. You're putting someone else down. It's to get approval for how great you are or how great your way is or whatever the hell else it is. Don't be a a bragger. Don't be an approval seeker. Don't put other fucking people down. Those are all forms of gossip and bitching and complaining. You know who does, who gossips, bitches and complains? Bitches, bitches, that's who. Don't be a little bitch. No forms of gossip, no forms of bitching, no forms of complaining. Who's going to respect you? And I'm talking to anyone, but we were talking about the project. The project is obviously for men only. Who's going to, like, let's think, and I was talking about the men I talked to on the phone who can't figure out why their wives don't, don't listen to, like, agree with them on anything, and always fighting with them, and always resisting everything they're doing. Because she doesn't fucking respect you. That's why. There's zero respect. Or very little respect. That's why. Because you're approval seeking. You're needy. You put people down. You gossip. You bitch. You complain. You bitch and fucking moan. If she wanted to marry a woman, she'd go and marry a fucking woman. But if she married a man, I'm guessing she wanted to marry a fucking man. In her choice, if that's the route she wants to go, do what you got to do. But we're talking about respect. The next way to earn and keep respect is to be willing to get your motherfucking hands dirty. Be willing to get some dirt under your fingernails. Be willing to get some fucking blood on your hands. To carry the heavy load. To jump into the trenches and start slashing motherfuckers when needed. Jump in the trenches when needed. Not being afraid to put some of the weight on your shoulders. To be up, out, up front. Be seen doing the work. Being, putting in, the, the getting the, the hardship. With the team, with the family, with the people. Like, get your hands fucking dirty sometimes. And bloody if need be. Next way is in the, in the personal training world, in the fitness industry, we say, eat your fucking broccoli. Meaning, don't tell your clients to eat your broccoli if you're not going to eat your broccoli yourself. Don't tell your clients to get a lot of sleep, drink a lot of water, to not stay up late. If you're going to not drink a lot of water, get a lot of sleep. Stay up late. Eat your fucking broccoli. Don't tell or expect people to do shit that you can't, won't, and still will fucking do your damn self. Because then you're just operating as a fraud, a fucking imposter, a fake, fake, phony ass motherfucker is what you're doing. Eat your damn broccoli. The next thing is just show the fuck up. Show up. Now, I'm not just talking about show up. I'm talking about show up. Show up on time, on fire, every time, on fire. Bring in the fucking fire every second of every second. That's how you need to show up. Be that one that I said earlier. Be the one who shows up full of energy, full of positivity. That's how you show up, with confidence. Show up with all these other things that we're talking about. With courage. Show up on time, on fire, every time. Be the one. That was show up. But you also sometimes need to shut the fuck up. You can earn and keep respect by shutting the fuck up sometimes. Know when to shut up. Know when to speak up. That is a valuable skill. That is a skill that could be the difference between millions of fucking dollars. That could be a skill that could be the difference between getting divorced and kids you never see again. Or every other weekend or some bullshit. Know when to shut the fuck up. Know when to speak up. And we talked about it earlier about approval seeking. Don't seek approval from people that don't matter. And on the flip side of that, do seek approval from the people that do matter and know the difference between those two. I'm going to repeat that. Don't seek approval from the motherfuckers that don't matter. But do seek approval from the people that do matter 
and know the difference between the two. Know how to determine, to distinguish what side of the fucking line in the sand are those people on that you should be giving a fuck what they think about you. Because, and, and there's a book here, right here. That's pretty fucking crazy. In this library back here, I could spot up any book. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, one of my favorite books. Top, I don't know, 25. Probably just because it has a fuck word in it. But n- not giving a fuck. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. It's a, it's a, a theme of, all right, you shouldn't give a fuck what anyone thinks about you. And I, and I talk about that all the time, but there is a caveat to that. You don't want to be on the opposite extreme end of anything. You want to cut the peaks and valleys of everything and keep that flow, keep that wave in the middle. You don't want to be on the extreme end. You, want to, you don't want to just say, I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about me. That's just stupid. That's too extreme. That's too definite. Of course, I give a fuck what my kids think about me, my family thinks about me, what my team thinks about me, what, what the fellow instructors of the project think about me, what your peers think about you. Now, it's a very small group of individuals and different groups that I give a shit what they think about me, but knowing the difference of not don't seek approval from the people that don't matter and do seek approval from the people that do matter and know the freaking difference between those two. The next thing is to know your freaking worth, know your value, and don't pimp out your time and energy. Notice I'm talking a lot about your time and your energy. I'm not talking about your money or anything else. Your time and energy, that's what we're worried, we're talking about here. Your fucking time and energy, that is life. Time and energy is life, that's it. Nothing else. Have the discipline to not pimp out your time or energy. Not let people steal your time or energy. Don't give away your time or energy to that group that don't fucking matter. Know your worth. Know your value. Fucking violently protect your time. Violently protect your energy. And don't let anyone invade that space of yours of your time and energy. Fuck that. Next way to get respect, get, get to gain and earn and keep respect is to stand up, stand out, be all in, play all out, and don't half-ass shit. Think about that. If you just, that, that's the statement right there alone. It's so fucking simple, so basic, so foundational, so fucking kindergarten Think about how simple that is. Stand up, stand out, be all in, play all out. Sounds like it's going against each other. All in and all out, but yeah, be all in. Play all out. Don't half-ass shit. Stand the fuck up, stand out. That's how you earn and keep respect. Next is very simple. Be your fucking self. Don't be that fake, fraud, phony-ass motherfucker we talked about before. Be yourself. Know who you are. Know what you stand for. Know what you believe in. Know what the difference between real right and real wrong. Be your fucking self. Don't try to be someone else. Don't try to be someone else on the internet. Don't try to be, well, you ain't going to try to be me, but don't try to be anyone else on the internet. If you're trying to be me, you're all kinds of fucked up. But be your fucking self. As long, like I said, everything is, there's, there's, you don't want to be the extreme of anything. You don't want to be your extreme self if you have no self awareness, no social awareness, and you're just a fucking scumbag and a douchebag. If that's who you are, don't be the extreme version of yourself. You do need to find that synergistic common ground in the middle somewhere where you cut those peaks and valleys if you're a fucking douchebag. Don't be yourself. If you're an asshole, don't be yourself. Stop being an asshole and then be the, the, the human that you're freaking meant to be. The man or woman that you're meant to be. That's what you need to be doing. Be your freaking self. The real version of who you're meant to be in the universe. That's what you need to do. Be your freaking self as long as you're not an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Very simple. Simple shit. Simple shit. But it hardly gets done. Next thing is, it's one of the core values that I have across every single business that I've ever had. It's if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. Basically, if you're always prepared, you never have to get prepared. If you're always fucking ready, you never have to get ready. That's how you earn and keep respect. Because you're always on your A game. You're not slipping up. You're not fucking up. You're not showing up late. You're showing up on time, on fire, every time ago, all the things we said, with courage, with confidence, as your fucking self, not being approval-seeking, standing up, standing out, being all in, playing out, not half-assing shit. That's always on your A-game. All those things that I just mentioned, those tons of things I just mentioned are on your A-game. And listen, if you just follow these steps I just said, and you just operate according to that, I know these are like, most of these are are soft skills, meaning they're not like saying, okay, run this marketing funnel and do this sales pitch to make more money. But I guarantee you, 
If you follow and live in accordance to these things I said, these 20 or so things I said, you will make hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars if you want to, if you stick to this shit. Think about that. And of course, we're going to finish off with how do you earn and keep respect and maintain respect is never making excuses and never accept any excuses. No fucking excuses right there. That's how. Making excuses, not holding yourself accountable, pointing the finger, blaming everyone else, and then looking for attention when something goes right. Oh, I did this. Look what I did. That's some bitch ass shit that we talked about earlier. That's some pussy bitch ass shit right there. Never make any excuses. Never accept any. Who's going to respect someone that's just nonstop excuse making? It's fucking disgusting. It's some kitty bitch shit is what it is. Fucking disgusting. Like I'm seriously, like it makes me sick to my stomach thinking of like grown ass people, grown ass men, grown ass anyone, grown ass people making fucking excuses for stupid, lazy fucking choices, decisions, whatever the fuck you want to call it or just bullshit. Cut that shit out. It's not fucking cool. It's not going to gain your respect. Be accountable. We talk about we hear, we hear about like accountability and authenticity and all this other shit we hear about on the internet all the time. Start fucking living that way. That's how you earn respect and keep respect. These this list right here. I'm telling you, follow this list. You will see a whole different fucking world out there if you follow this list right here that I'm talking about. So let's do it. Let's make it happen. If you need help with any of these things, these are all tied in to really to daily disciplines, to habits, to having the discipline and the energy, to have the confidence to take action throughout your day to be your freak self. We talk about all the time, the discipline, the energy, the confidence, the action, the freak. If you need help with any of that, send me a message. I'll put it down there. Check the link in the bio for the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge. It's a 40 day, 40 night habit challenge. Check it out. Check out the link. It will put you on the path to live according to these 20 20 points that we just made right here on respect. You need some help with respect? Work on your discipline. Work on your energy. Work on how you show up. Work on your daily habits. That's what's going to help you get respect. That's what's going to, that consistency is going to get you respect. And if you need help with that, check out the Freak Mode 40 so you can activate your Freak Mode and operate to dominate in your mind, your body, your business, and your fucking self. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Check out the Freak Mode 40. I will talk to you soon. In case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.